Hey, it's Luxury Travel Docs here, and welcome to Buenos Aires, Argentina. We arrived here three nights ago, and we stayed at the Park Hyatt Hotel in the Ricoleta neighborhood of Buenos Aires. We boarded the Viking Jupiter yesterday, and we had an all-day tour of Buenos Aires today. We were on the maiden voyage of Viking Jupiter after the pandemic where we went to Iceland and did the itinerary called Iceland's Natural Beauty in July of 2021. Just a reminder that all proceeds from our channel are donated to charity. Please help us help others by giving us a thumbs up or subscribing to our channel. Your support makes a difference. So let's get to it. Today we are going to look at room 6022, which is a penthouse junior suite located on deck 6, port side, forward. Fortunately, we are invited by Viking to tour one of these cabins so that we may bring a review to you. Upon entering the cabin, you'll notice that there is a lot of privacy for most of your room from the hallway. Compared to the deluxe veranda cabin that we brought to you previously, this particular cabin has 50% more square footage, priority shore excursion and dining reservations, as well as a welcome bottle of champagne. In comparison to the penthouse veranda cabin that we reviewed for you previously, there is 20% more square footage. The design of the room is very spacious. It also has modern design elements as well as soft color palettes. The beds can be arranged either in a king fashion or as two twins. If you're someone who has discomfort when sleeping while traveling, make sure you ask your room steward for a feather mattress topper. One of the best features of all Viking Ocean cabins is the private veranda. This particular veranda is longer than those verandas for deluxe veranda or penthouse veranda staterooms. There is a pane glass window as well as a sliding glass door to access the veranda. Use this veranda as a perfect space for enjoying a morning coffee or have a glass of champagne while you watch the sunset or watch wildlife go by. Of course, the veranda has two chairs and a table. The view from this cabin is unobstructed above and below. There is a slight overhang to give you some shade when outside on the veranda. Che's lounges are located in other cabins, which we will review for you as well. Some ocean ships have veranda chairs with an adjustable back. The verandas are private, but if you're traveling as a group and have adjacent cabins, ask your room steward to open up the dividers between the balconies. With the location of this cabin, you'll have peace and quiet because there are cabins above and below you and no public spaces above or below you. Just inside the veranda is a large sitting area with a long couch, two armchairs, an extra long coffee table, and a 42 inch television. The sitting area and the bed can each be made more private by drapery that spans the width of the room, dividing the room in half. In every room is a catalog of the art collection that you can see around the ship. In the penthouse junior suite, there are seven additional drawers located in a console underneath the television, as well as additional shelves. The deluxe veranda cabin does not have a console like this. In this category of cabin, there is an extra long desk compared to deluxe veranda staterooms. On the right side of the desk are extra drawers, which are a great place to store cosmetics and hair products. And the reason is, is that this is a great place to get ready because of the extra plugs, as well as the lighted mirror in the desk. It's also a great place to look outside while you're cruising along. The refrigerator is in the other side of the desk and it has soft drinks, liquor and snacks that are replenished daily in this category of cabin. Viking has Coca-Cola products and liquors include Smirnoff, Beefeaters, Dewars, and Bacardi. 
Ask your cabin steward if you would like something different. A carafe of filtered water and two glasses are replenished daily. Your quiet Vox transmitters are located on the desk and should be plugged in daily to make sure they are charged for all of your tours. Personally, we really like using our AirFly Pro so that we may use our Bluetooth-enabled headphones. We like the Pro best because we're able to each use our own Bluetooth-enabled headphones and pair it with one quiet Vox box. Individuals with Bluetooth-enabled hearing aids may find the AirFly device useful. There are three EU and two US outlets located at the desk. One of the EU outlets is occupied by your quiet box charger. There is a lighted vanity mirror as well as storage and your binoculars located at the desk. This is not a magnifying mirror and personally we bring a suction cup magnifying mirror so that we may attach it to the mirror in the bathroom or occasionally to the sliding glass doors. There are two televisions in this category of stateroom. One above the desk, opposite the bed, and one in the sitting area. There is free Wi-Fi, although the connection speed definitely varies during every voyage. The 42-inch flat screen TV features MSNBC, Fox News, National Geographic, and so much more. We love the on-demand features of the Viking television, including the enrichment lectures, your guest speakers, and many more recorded programs that are applicable to most of the sailings. Next to each bed is a reading lamp as well as light and night light switches. We bet you didn't know that you could push this little button and turn on the night lights in the bathroom as well as the room. One EU, one US, and two USB outlets are located in each nightstand. There is plenty of storage in each nightstand as well. There is 13 inches of clearance under each bed so that you may store your luggage there easily. We were able to fit two rolling duffels without any difficulty. What we usually do is travel with a carry-on backpack, and we usually store our carry-ons inside our rolling duffels and then place them under the bed. Here you're looking at us store our luggage underneath our bed in our deluxe veranda cabin, but all of the beds on Viking are the same and have the same amount of clearance. The wardrobe area is near the entrance across from the bathroom. The closet is closest to the door, and inside you'll find a small top shelf, plenty of hangers, robes, slippers, and an umbrella for your voyage. On the other side of the closet, you'll find another area to hang your goods, although it's not as long of an area. There's another shelf and also three additional drawers. As we head around the corner, you'll find another area that includes a Nespresso Krups coffee maker as well as a selection of coffees that are replenished daily. You will find another shelf. Your safe is located here as well as additional drawers to store your items. The safe fit all of our necessities including two tablets, a 13 inch laptop, our passports and wallets. Inside these drawers you'll find a lint remover, a shoehorn, a bag for laundry service, as well as your blow dryer. You can easily move these if you want to store some of your clothes in here. There is a full-length mirror opposite the closet. The bathrooms that you will find on the Viking ocean ships are by far some of the nicest bathrooms that we've ever had at sea. You will find that overall they are very spacious and well lit. There's an anti-fog, well-lit vanity mirror. There also are additional drawers for storing your toiletries in the bathroom. The Penthouse Junior Suite has an extra-wide vanity with two sinks. Drawers are located on each side of these sinks to store your necessities, as well as plenty of shelves. 
This category of cabin comes with a heated towel rack. There's a grab bar that's located by the commode, but we're really not sure how functional this is. The shower is larger than in both the penthouse and deluxe veranda cabins. There is a grab bar in the shower, as well as a handheld shower head if needed. If you think you may need a shower chair option, make sure that you request this in My Viking Journey before you board or ask your cabin steward for one. There is a footrest at the back of the shower so that you may shave your legs or store extra toiletries. There is a retractable clothesline in the shower. But laundry facilities on board Viking Ocean ships are free of charge and we will show you those in a second. Fortunately, the Penthouse Junior Suite comes with complimentary laundry, dry cleaning, pressing, and shoe shine services, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, body lotion, and bar soap by Freya, which is Viking's own line, are provided. The drawers and shelves are located on each side of the sink. There are additional shelves recessed on each side of the sink as well. One of our favorite things in the bathrooms on Viking Ocean ships are the heated floors. And this is probably because we usually tend to take cold weather cruises. And let me just tell you that the heated floors are really nice. There are two hooks located on the bathroom door. Climate control and light switches are located just inside the cabin entrance door. Now we love to take 100 pound magnetic hooks. We find this size is perfect for the items that we want to hang like jackets, bags, lanyards and more. In this particular cabin, we recommend placing them either next to the shelves, at the wardrobe, or along the entrance wall. Self-service laundrettes, including complimentary detergent, are located on almost every deck that has staterooms. Laundrettes are not accessible for those in wheelchairs. But fortunately, the Penthouse Junior Suite comes with complimentary laundry, dry cleaning, pressing, and shoe shine services. Overall, the Penthouse Junior Suite is a testament to the impeccable craftsmanship, attention to detail, and unwavering commitment to guest satisfaction that define Viking Ocean Cruises. Please enjoy our other Viking Ocean cabin reviews, including a deluxe veranda, penthouse veranda, two different explorer suites, and an ADA-compatible penthouse suite. We hope you're enjoying our reviews of the Viking Jupiter. Please remember to subscribe or give us a thumbs up as your support makes a difference. Always remember to make meaningful and healthy travel happen, and we'll see you next time.